Hi, this is Brian Carlton for ABN Newswire. Australian companies wanting to do business in China can never get enough expert advice and assistance. Australian Business International Trade Services works with over 1,000 businesses each year of all types and sizes in Australia and overseas to achieve their international business goals. They can assist with export, investment and international growth strategies. Their knowledge, contacts and experience might just be the key to creating business futures for your company. Chris Gibbs-Stewart is the General Manager of Australian Business International Trade Services who will be the major participants at the China Australia Business Congress 09 in Sydney on the 19th and 20th of May. She joins me now. Hi, Chris. Welcome to ABN Newswire. Hi, thank you very much, Brian. You've had a 20 year career in international business and export development. What role will Australian Business International Trade Services play at the China Australia Business Congress? Well, we've been helping to input to some of the content of the Congress, and we're certainly encouraging our members and clients to come along. We think it's an important event and probably one of the uh, biggest internationally focused events of the year. So we'd like people to come along and we're also sending our China expert along as one of the speakers. Now the Chinese market is evolving rapidly as is its regulatory framework. How difficult does this make it for the unwary attempting to do business in China? Well, you know, I think that doing business in China has become a lot more transparent. Uh, The communication with China, uh, the Internet access, and the information coming out of China is a lot more than in in days gone by. But it's, you know, conferences like these where people can come along and they can learn firsthand about what's happening in the market, and that helps companies learn, uh, hear from others who have done it successfully, and then they can apply those learnings to be successful in the market themselves. Beijing now realises, of course, that China's domestic economy is a weakness. How effective do you think last year's uh, $585 billion US stimulus package be in actually boosting the domestic economy there? Well, you know, I guess that remains to be seen. Um, But certainly, regardless of the uh, stimulus package that was introduced, China's growth is still uh, projected to be around 7 or 8% this year. And compared to some other um, markets and many of the developed economies, that is very good. Um, I think what's interesting about the stimulus package is that it uh, it goes into a number of areas where Australians can ha- have a particular expertise and therefore uh, might get some opportunities out of the injection that's being put into the economy. So you subscribe to the school of thought that claims that instability presents opportunity? Yeah, I mean, and I think at a time like this, you can't stick your head in the ground and think, oh my gosh, the world is crashing down around us. You have to look for opportunity, and the stimulus package introduced by the Chinese government is one of those opportunities that Australians, who are smart and savvy, will take advantage of. So what kind of business opportunities will be presented to those who register for the China-Australia Business Congress? Well, the conference covers a lot of different areas. It looks at anything from uh, exporting, uh, it looks at infrastructure, it looks at outsourcing, it looks at intellectual property, it touches on services, and it has some good case studies. So the opportunities that it's presenting are, are wide, so it will, you know, it will appeal to a wide range of, uh, um, of audience. Um, and I also think that it's being presented in, in an interesting way where there's an, a number of panel discussions where people will be able to um, contribute their own viewpoint. And therefore, they're discussing anything from opportunities in services to opportunities in education to opportunities in manufacturing. So people will be able to come along and hear about all kinds of opportunities. And all you have to do to do that is to go to www.acevents.com.au slash chinabusiness09 to register for this important event. Chris Gibbs-Stewart, General Manager of Australian Business International Trade Services, thanks for your time today. All the best for the Congress. Thanks, Brian. This is Brian Carlton for ABN Newswire.